Hi everyone, welcome to my video. This is Mustafa Ahmed. Today I am going to continue with the clock course. In this video, you'll learn how to upload a Wiltops folder and then how to make a temperature curve for the well. Check the clock playlist in my channel. You can find the clock course from the beginning and you can find the data that I use in this course and the software in my Telegram channel. All the links in the description box. I'll start with uh, making zonation by uploading the file. In the previous video, I've done zonation, but uh, with the, from zone editor, I added zones, and then I I showed you another way to do it from uh, from uh, the these tools. Uh, from uh, these tools of zonation, uh, but now I will uh, upload the zonation from a folder, and I'll show you how to do the folder for zonation. So let's go to Excel and uh, let's do the tops. Uh, at the first column, type the well name, and the second one, type the data set name third one uh, the, uh it will be the depth here so type reference or depth and here the zone name so here type your data i've already uh I've already uh, have the well tops, so the well is the this is the name of the well, and this is the da the data set name, and here is are the depths, um, and here are the zones name. So save this folder, but uh, you have to save it as as text file. So I'll go to file to file and save as. like the folder that you want to save your uh, folder in it and here the uh, the type should be text and press on save okay So here, upload it. So open uh, project browser from home. Press on import uh, from this. Okay, here select the folder and open it. As you can see here, these are the well names or the well name and this is the data set name so type here data set or select like data set name uh, this is the reference uh, the reference is the measured depth and here are the zones so uh, Data set type should be interval because you have more than one type. Uh, so select interval and here import it from line two because at the first line I have the header and the units of uh, measure depth should be in meter because uh, uh, the measure depth in meter. Okay, I've done with that. Press preview and then load. 
So as you can see here, you have uh, the zones right here. Press on it and uh, import it. So in the uh, well BU10, I have the zones. To display them, uh, ob from dock window, open zonation. And here, uh, So right click and uh, display zonation track from this icon. As you can see, it's empty because uh, I have to display the zones. Go to zonation and from here select the zones. Uh, as you can see here, these are the zones. Uh, display them. All. And uh, you can select uh, or change the colors. As you can see here, these are the zones. Now let's start with the temperature, and I'll show you how to calculate the temperature curve. Uh, so to do it, go to uh, Petrophysics and then select a quantity. From uh, Precomputions, select Formation Temperature. All right, this window will open, and here you have to select the depth of the well. So first, uh, select the well that you want to work on, and then. Select the curve of temperature, or oh, sorry, the curve of the depth. So here, this is the depth, and press on this icon and it will be selected. Here you have two options: you can create it in a new workspace, or you can create in uh, this workspace. So I'll do it right here. All right, and here you have. To drop your database, but it means the well. So, this is the well that I want to work on. And here, drop it. Um, the well name is this here, database name. Uh, here, you have to select the curve of the depth. And uh, press on zonation, and it did this. Uh, if you want to calculate the zones uh, temperature or the temperature for a single zone, uh, you can uh, select the depth of or the interval of the zone, the the top and the bottom of the zone. But here I wanted to calculate it, the temperature for all of the uh, well from the top to the, the bottom. So I'll start uh, from 3,500 and end with uh, 4,099. The unit is meter, of course. And here, uh, you have two ways to calculate the temperature. You can use the temperature at the top and the temperature at the bottom to, to make a temperature curve. Uh, by this method, which is TLI over BLI, it means top login interval over bottom login interval. And you can use a uh, gradient if you have it. You can put it right here and it will be calculated. So I'll start with a gradient. Let's start with the gradient. Here, the gradient uh, of this well is. Uh, 2.94 2.95 2 sorry uh, the units you can change the units from here uh, this unit for this well is degree Fahrenheit over 100 feet the top login interval is zero the unit in meter 
and here top log interval temperature is 25 it's the temperature at the top of the well uh, if you have the temperature at uh, 3000 which is the top of your log uh, you can uh, put it right here uh, or this is the temperature and here you can type uh, 3500 and uh, the temperature is in celsius okay and to display it you can press on run but here you can save it to and triple it and save it so i'll select this option and by pressing on, okay i pressed on run and this curve or this uh, window opened here as you can see here the lower limit and upper limit it's not correct because here uh, I'm talking about depth in 3622 so uh, temperature is not 60 it should be higher so to edit the curve select it and go to properties and here the type is user so it's selected the upper and lower limit all right so as you can see here the curve is increasing while i go down okay Uh, so let's talk about the second option which is uh, calculating the temperature by top login interval and bottom login interval so here uh, the top login interval is zero and the temperature of it is 25 the bottom log interval is, is 4099. I don't have the bottom log interval, so I'll assume it as 250 centigrade. By pressing on run, the curve will be calculated. You have to edit the lower and upper limit. Okay, so. This is the curve and to display the value press on this icon as you can see the values of the well and to display the position line I press on this icon as you can see here so this is what i have for today thank you for watching and see you in another video